Yeah, no, thanks, Greg. I think it has been probably about six months. Um, yeah, and it's it's just a bit of fun. So it was developed. May as well jump into it. Can everyone see the screen? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Well, let's just have a bit of a look then. So it was developed, yeah, about six months ago by myself, Alice, Greg Nash is on the line, and Amy Holden, who can't be here um, on the call today. But um, what we do is we pretty much have questions. So we've got a Microsoft form, goes out to the community. People can submit different questions about Power Platform or anything they want. And it was really started um, because we want to try and keep the community connected, obviously during the COVID challenges that we all went through and some areas still going through. But um, yeah, today we're going to run through three rounds of just a little bit of fun. Um, so in the in the chat, we posted the answer form for round one. If everyone wants to get into that. Just before we start, I wanted to just uh, call out a few house rules that we always like to introduce uh, before the beginning of the quiz. So the first one is that the PPP quizmeisters are always right, even when we're wrong. So uh, one of those things, sometimes we uh, we have in the past, these are community submitted uh, questions. And so uh, we haven't always had a, an exactly technically correct answer. So um, hopefully we've, we've weeded all those out, but that's uh, just a standard rule. <laughs> Uh, no Googling, no binging, bing, binging, uh, or search engineing for answers. Obviously, uh, it's a spirit of a quiz, so well, we'd appreciate if you didn't, um, if you didn't uh, Google stuff. Um, if uh, you snooze, you lose. So if you miss the 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 end point, you will not get your score submitted. One really important thing is uh, try to spell your name uh, when you submit your form the same. Um, it doesn't matter too much for the team uh, things, but we also have an individual score. And if you if you capitalize your name and then you don't capitalize or you change the spelling of your name, so you put Greg Ann or whatever instead of Greg Nash, then uh, it'll count as two different people. So we haven't fixed a way to uh, to do that for people yet. So just uh, keep that on um, uh, keep that in mind when you're submitting. Try to spell your name the same way. Uh, so if you're, uh, we've got three teams today, and so your total, the points count as an average. So it's the average of the people who submit for each team. You can pick any of the teams. I think we've got Team Greg. Uh, we've got Team Bastian. I think Bastian's not here though. So uh, is hey, Bastian Bastion's on the line? Here. You got it. Oh, he's here. Cool. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't see him. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah. I just saw him. I saw him in the chat. He sounds pumped. Uh, <laughs> he's pumped. He's ready to lose. Greg. <laughs> I'm ready. And then we got team team PPPQ. So if you if you don't like Greg or Bastian, you can join the Australians. Yeah, yeah go I'm Australians. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on my go team, Aussies. though. I know he's an Australian. Yeah, I think we got a special <laughs> shout out to the lone wolf, Matt Burr, all the way from Brisbane in Queensland, back on the line. I mean, he came second last time we ran it here, Greg uh, P. So he probably wants wants the win. So yeah. <laughs> I want cool. it. I Awesome. And we've got, so we've got three rounds to get through today. So we're going to go through them um, pretty quickly. So you have to be really, uh, really quick at submitting to keep up with us. Um, so Greg Nash, do you want to kick us off for round one? Okay. Yeah, let's go into, let's go straight into round one. We'll start with question number one. So the forms in the chat, if you haven't seen, uh, Alice posted the form and these are community submitted questions. So we've got the person who submitted as well on the right hand side. So this is a general round bits and bytes. So uh, true or false flower pot ramp is an anagram of power platform. Flower pot ramp is an anagram of power platform, true or false. Uh, this is submitted by Leon, who's a MVP for Dynamics 365. Um, so thanks, Leon, for that. He can touch his nose with his tongue, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear our music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true false question, so you don't need to spend too long on that one. Question number two, Greg, if you want to keep running with it. Cool. How many users can belong to an organization wide Microsoft Teams team? How many users can you put in a Microsoft Teams team? 5,000, 1,000, or unlimited? Mm. This is a general question supplied to you by the PPPQ team. <laughs> I know the meeting maximums, I don't know the team maximum. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Jeez. and these questions are kind of tricky because things do change pretty quickly. All right, question number three. Which of the following options is available when creating a new flow in Power Automate? Which of the following options is available when creating a new flow in Power Automate? 
a recurring from blank, a scheduled from blank, and a time or a timed from blank. And I, is that a multi-select? So you can select many or one. I'm not oh, sure. I It'll be on the form. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think the form tells us. I think the form's a drop down from memory or. Okay. Yeah, but um, this question was submitted from, by Norm Young, um, and Norm Young's fun fact is he used to live in a frat house for four years with 13 others. It had two bathrooms, one shower, and he's seen things that cannot be unseen. So <laughs> oh now we'll goodness. know a bit more about Norm. <laughs> <laughs> I know about frat life. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we used to live in a... Um, we lived in a student house in Switzerland when we were doing our masters. It had more than sixty people in the house and one kitchen. It was amazing. Oh, more than so nobody two. cooked. <laughs> yeah, <No>. pretty much. <laughs> All right. Question four. Hey. Oh, okay. Question. Who's that? Oh, guy? look at this. Look at this guy. Uh, <laughs> what is a data flow? What is a data flow? And your options there. An Azure Data Pipeline, Power Query running in the cloud, data ingestion for Power Apps, or a type of Power BI visualization. And uh, this was submitted by, <laughs> you guessed it, Greg P. What a sweet guy. <laughs> he looks older there. <laughs> yeah, it's just so great. The salt and pepper is coming out, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the illustrated version. Is that is that photo, is that photoshopped in? I think that's. Yeah, I like took one of like my regular photos and like photoshopped it. <laughs> I have yeah, nothing any, better to do. Any good dreams in Power BI lately, Greg? Oh, absolutely! Just deployment <laughs> pipelines. It's been my like latest mm. latest dream. You can understand that. Very good. <laughs> All right. Question number five. Question number five. Uh, which colorless, odorless, tasteless, null, non-toxic, and inert gas is named after the Greek word for the sun? All right. Uh, yes, this yeah. is Mon one of Monty's questions, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Which colorless, yeah, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic? Monty submitted a lot of, um, Monty submitted heaps of kind of just random general pub quiz trivia questions, but he didn't want to supply a fun fact. I think he's given us like 20 questions. <laughs> But this one's pretty hard because it's obviously free text in the answer response. So hopefully everyone knows a little bit about their elements and their chemistry and their periodic tables. We're working on a fuzzy <laughs> join to, to <laughs> power query to make this work. So, uh, question number six, power automate flows are the little sister slash brother of which Azure technology? Power mm -hmm. Automate flows are the little sister or brother of which Azure technology? Service Bus, Logic Apps, or Application Insights? Supplied by Sam Chaplin, who once built a school in Nepal. That a boy, Sam. Very cool. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. All the questions are sort of coming in from people around the world. And before this Microsoft 365 quiz, we had um, yeah some really, really good responses. So hopefully, yeah, you see some familiar faces, maybe from you know, the States uh, in some of the later questions. I told you the quiz playlist was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's, <right. laughs> That's great. I love it. Question number seven, which one of the following options is the supported size or file type when setting an entity icon for a model driven app using the unified interface? That is a tough question. Mm. Which of the following options is supported size slash file type when setting an entity icon for a model driven app using the unified interface in Power Apps, I assume? Mm. Uh, that is, is it a PNG, SVG, JPEG, or is it? GIF or GIF in in oh. Portland. <laughs> I don't. It's a mystery. That could be its, its own mystery. question. <laughs> yeah, I know you did a bit of a poll on that one, Greg. On I did, yeah, and apparently it's <laughs> GIF according to most people. Which GIF. I'm it's GIF. It's GIF. Yeah. It's it's GIF. No, it's, it's GIF. for sure GIF. Yeah, yeah for me, no. I'm hard G for it's life. GIF. Hard G for yeah. life. <laughs> Question number eight, which of the following is not an out of the box Dynamics 365 or model driven apps entity relationship type? Oof. So this is not Power BI. This is model driven apps in Dynamics 365. So uh, this is uh, tricky. One to one, one to many, many to one, many to many or none. That's I guess none of the above. 
Mm. Yeah, so right some of we're... these um, are pretty tricky questions because I guess like when you know your area of expertise, you kind of think, oh, that's simple. Everyone's going to know that. But <laughs> obviously not this one. Okay, we've got 10 questions in this first round, so we've got the second last. Cool. Which of the following would you use to view security recommendations for your Azure environment? Which of the following would you use to view security recommendations for your Azure environment? Azure Monitor, Azure Subscription, Azure Marketplace, or Azure Advisor? And this Passing is another question by the PTPQ. <laughs> Joel just suggested Norton antivirus, which is a great answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lucky last. Question number 10. How many connectors do we have to connect to the common data service? Ooh. Still called the common data service, is it? Dataflex is de officially dead. Dataflex is dead. I think it's Project Oakdale now. Yeah, Project what? Oakdale. So how many connectors? So this is how many connectors in Power Automate, I would say, or Power Platform, not necessarily in Power BI, but it could be the same answer. Anyway, that's where the, that uh, PPQ Q quiz mice are always right rule comes in. Uh, none one or two. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm submitted. Everybody else. Awesome. Is Cool. So yeah, that was it. If anyone wants to have a quick recap, we'll just quickly flick through the questions here. Your last chance to have a second look going really quickly. So yeah, 22 points up for grabs from this first round. I think actually all the rounds are 22 points. So if you yes. want to keep submitting your forms. Yeah, yeah just sure to give you a bit of an insight. Uh, sorry, yeah. Alice, um, okay, into cool. how this works is we, the, the the Microsoft form gets submitted and then, so we've got a couple of different versions of the PPPQ tech. So one of them sent, writes it back to the CDS and then we use uh, Power BI to read that out of the CDS. We have a, a refresh button here on the Power BI that's going to pull that data straight in. And then another version is it writes it back to an Excel sheet on OneDrive. And so I think we're using the Excel version today, guys. You is know, that... yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well, the, so I know like Amy loves CDS. We're kind of business users, Power BI people. So we've got our um, we've got our trusty old Excel version. But the reason we're using it today is we're kind of behind the scenes trying to temp develop this all into a really easy template so we can put it up on GitHub and share it with the community so everyone can run their own PPBQs. So um, yeah. so we're just kind of refining it in the back end, but. Yeah, we do like Excel a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it looks Excel like we've got is not a database. Just uh, yeah. <laughs> Excel is amazing. That is true. Yeah. So we've got quite a few um, people already submitted their forms. We'll give it maybe another, maybe another thirty seconds. So this is really going to test out your kind of Microsoft knowledge. So this is this will show people who know the whole kind of stack, not just Power BI. While well, we're just sort of quickly waiting for these uh, questions to come in, just like to usually we um, have we've developed our own online merch store or swag store. So we've got the PPPQ superheroes. So this is Greg Nash's design of the um, superheroes and. The online store, which we can put in the link. I think Greg P you've promoted some of this stuff for us before. I love uh, the shower curtain. Show us the shower curtain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yes. There, there, it there it is. Okay. Yeah, we've got a few different few different designs on this on this store that you can do it up. And I think we've actually probably still got the one from we did a Portland PPPQ design as well last time so yeah. Probably oh yeah we've one. got some special special designs for our fans out in Portland so you can see that we've got the Portland Power Platform Pub Quiz nice so you can combine your love for Portland Pug with PPPQ <laughs> so much, it's like so much collaboration to... great collaboration happening all at once we have to uh, convince uh, my girlfriend to get that duvet cover for our for our yeah. bed there. I want the pillow for my couch. 
It's in uh, Aussie dollars as well, so that's pretty this affordable. Discount for a bargain for all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, let's refresh our quiz machine. Give us a moment. That's like, <laughs> that person said three dollars US for that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're just refreshing in the background. It's just taking a second. Yeah, let's go into the leaderboard here. Oh, it's being a bit slow. Yeah, it took a bit of time. So yeah, the on. suspense. <laughs> Maybe while we're waiting, um, because we've already hit refresh, people can't submit any more answers. We can um, quickly go through the answers. Anyone is curious. So let's go. So you can see the first question is true. 5,000 users can belong to organization wide Microsoft Teams. Um, it's scheduled from blank for flow in Power Automate. So data flow is Power Query running in the cloud. Helium is that element we were looking for with a capital H. <laughs> uh, Logic Apps is the little sister brother. It's an SVG, which is the supported file type. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. Azure Advisor you'd use, Good not Norton. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have two connectors in the common data service. Well, so, we well, I just... screwed that one up, sweet. Yeah, oh, cool, me too, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very tough. tough. Thank you for saying that, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the I only one. I, right. do, I do with helium, but then I thought, 50, 50, 50, yes. I, I feel like yeah. I've smelled a balloon and it smells like something, right? Odorless helium, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Okay. We're still, um, we're still, oh, it just happened. Let's have a look at the answers. Cool. So we just refreshed our app here. It's going to full screen mode. It's it knows when you're demoing, so it's going to crash when you demo. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Well, it did, that refresh did take a while, so. Yeah. For some reason, I just think that um, hey. that uh, Power Whoa. BI just doesn't like Teams. So, wow. oh, PPPQ, ah. the PPPQ is winning, but the Team oh, Quiz. Oh, yeah. Go awesome. Team Quizmeisters. So that's obviously the average of all the people that submitted under each of those teams, but then if we drill down, we can have a look. Yeah, how can we look at the people we go? Oh, nice. I like how you guys made a button for the like drilling in mm. or drilling down. Yeah, so I got a couple of different ways to slice and dice our data. So JP Daly is doing awesome. I'm beating Ron. Let's, 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 woo. Of course, wow. JP. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Those questions were hard. Yeah, that's some hard questions there. So everyone's doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, Alex Powers, pretty well. Matt Burr, awesome. Yeah. People are doing really well. Good job. Oh, I don't know how I would get that round. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, that was tough round. I think Greg P, you'll you'll lift your game in the next two, mate. That's all right. They were hard. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Coming back. Okay, so we need the next round. We'll just copy the next round form into the chat. Let's so get we're doing round one. two. Right. Nice work, Karan. Yeah, you are ready. <laughs> what right. is the next round? If you guys are wondering how uh, oh. to build this really nice looking uh, report, this is literally what the Discovery AI guys are going to take you through after this session. So uh, they're um, they're pretty good at designing Power BI reports and interactive little bits and pieces. So some cool looking stuff here. Thanks, Greg. Oh, thanks yeah. for the plug, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you know no we love this stuff. <laughs> Make it a bit better. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, so you got the form in the um, formula chat for everyone, and let's get started into round two. So what are the connectors used for in Power Automate? So connectors are used to start a flow. Connectors let you share an app. Connectors let you connect to a service like Twitter, or connectors are used to connect actions and triggers together in a flow. And this question was submitted by, yeah, your PPPQ team. Woo! So we're always looking for new questions. If you wanted to get your face and fun fact up, um, we'll share a link out to um, our community form. So we would love lots of new questions, especially Power BI questions. They're our favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
question number two. How many connectors are there in the Power Platform in brackets available to either apps and flows? So the ranges are 1 to 100, 101 to 200. You, you can see them up there. That's all right. Yeah. And this was submitted by John Liu. So he's a Flow Ninja uh, based out of Sydney. And I think that we all know that John Liu hacks stuff. So he's awesome. I think he runs the Sydney Power Platform music group. Yeah. Pretty cool guy. Bastion, you should connect with him. Awesome. Question three. So name the connector blank provides services for teams to share code, track work and ship software for any language all in a single package. It's the perfect complement to your IDE. So name the connector that does this service. Sounds like a pretty good connector. I mean, round two is connect the dots. So we're looking at connectors all across the power platform. So again, like round one, could be a bit challenging, but um, yeah, give it a go. We've got our multiple choice options there, and yeah, remember the quiz master's always right. So. <laughs> Even when we submit the questions. <laughs> All right, true or false? So LinkedIn V2 is the name of a power automate connector. True or false? LinkedIn V2 is the name of a power automate connector. It's LinkedIn V2 Pro Flex. Is it Project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Project. Yeah, so, so hopefully people obviously um, applying on the quiz know a bit more like the wider power platform as well, because that's the that's the questions that we're targeting. Like, give it a little bit of time for this. Yeah, we'll move on. The true or false. Yeah, true or false is are easy. Oh, Monty again. Uh, the 1923 Nobel Prize for Medicine was awarded to two men for the discovery of what chemical compound? So Monty's questions are real tricky because they're all free form. Um, so you have to know your general pub trivia as well. Hence, we've dedicated four points to this answer. <laughs> and the, the chemical compound starts with an I for anyone out there. Uh -huh. And Monty, so he's um, a Power BI um, report developer up in Sydney. Um, so I think he does a lot of work with councils. Um, yeah, he's a really cool guy. Have you met him, Greg Nash? Monty, no, I haven't. Yeah, he's a pretty interesting guy. We had a few beers with him um, when we were up there uh, earlier this year in February. So which of the following is not a data source that can be connected to using the standard data connectors? So not a data source to connect to. CSV file, Azure Data Factory, MySQL Database, or Google Analytics? And uh, this question was submitted by Sam Fisher. He's based uh, here in Melbourne. And um, he really didn't like the idea of submitting a fun fact. Hence, a uh, fun fact is how he started it. But He's a really big Marvel movies fan, and he won a Marvel trivia night once. So, pretty cool guy, and uh, he used to work with Greg actually. But um, yeah, he did. I know like, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> used to see that cheeky smile every single day, didn't you, Greg? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but now he works at the Heart Band. Oh. Uh Blood service, uh, blood, blood service. Blood yeah, service. so the local yeah. local Red Cross blood service here in Melbourne. Yeah, does a lot of data sciencey stuff. Yeah. Question seven. All right. What is the name of the connector which connects to finance and operations app from Power Apps? Dynamics three six five. <laughs> Dynamics three six five for finance. Dynamics three six five for finance and operations. Some of these sound the same. Dynamics three six five for fin and ops and Dynamics 365 mm -hmm. Supply Chain Management. And oh question... Yeah. <laughs> Some of these questions are so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just shows like um, Microsoft, they changed their names for things so much and they all kind of sound the same, so... This question was submitted by Kashun Patharana and he's a Microsoft Biz Apps enthusiast and he loves playing cricket and running. and. Uh, he actually was on the call for the M365 Global Quiz we ran, and he prefers cricket to running because we did ask him out of those two. Uh -huh. Is he based in Sydney? I think so, yeah. Oh. 
tough question, but we'll move on. Question number eight. So what Power Apps license allows users to use only CDS connected Power Apps without having ability to create apps? So all of them, per user, per app license, or none? Mm, that's a tricky. So this is submitted by Liam Murray. He's also a bit of an enigma. He didn't want to share his fun fact. Does anyone know Liam Murray? No, no. No, he's still a mystery. Uh -huh. It's a good question. <laughs> Understanding Nothing power like app licensing could be a full time yeah. job. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Oh. And and you'll need to learn your job every few months. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And relearn it. You need to relearn yeah. it. Try and communicate yeah. it. That's the hard part. Mm. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, hard. Okay, so next one using count rows or the in operator in a gallery items property connected to a SharePoint list, we would get a delegation warning. Would changing the data source to common data service fix the issue? So it's a yes or a no question, or yes or a no response. I'm going to repeat the question. <laughs> Using count rows or the in operator in a gallery items property connected to a SharePoint list, we would get a delegation warning. So if we change the data source to CDS, would this fix the issue? Another and way to phrase that question is, is common data service delegable? That's Delig yeah. Delig yeah, deligible or whatever. It is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would do so badly in this quiz because I just don't know the common data service. <laughs> we, that's why we choose to use Excel. <laughs> so this is submitted by, um, by, how would you pronounce that, 80? Eighty. Yeah, so um, I bet you didn't know that he doesn't really like alcohol. He's only been drunk once in his life when he was 25 years old. And he didn't like it, so never again. Second fun fact, he's pretty generous. He used to play football five to six days a week. Although not a professional athlete, I have an understanding why. <laughs> yeah, that's, all, that's almost every day of the week. <laughs> Right, and if you know the answer to that, you could let Addy know as a support thing. That'd be great because I think that's. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Last question for round two, connect the dots. Which of the following is not currently a pre-built Power Automate connector? Facebook, LinkedIn, Meetup, YouTube, Twitter or Eventbrite? And we may need to uh, change this in the future if uh, it gets updated, I guess. I didn't know that two of them were connectors, so that's interesting. Mm. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. If anyone wants to have a quick flick through the questions, just take a look now. I'll just quickly whiz through them. Last chance. Yeah. I want to see if anyone gets Monty's question. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah the really... compound. Yeah. yeah. That will separate out the power platform buffs yeah, from the general pub, yeah. quibia, pub trivia buffs. All right. So keep submitting your forms. Hopefully, we're getting a few through. I think we are. Give it a bit more time. You hit refresh. Awesome. Yeah, we might give it another 15 seconds and then we'll hit our slow refresh. So get them in quickly. Yeah, I'm excited for next month's um, presentation by Melissa Greg Pay. I mean, that's going to be awesome. She's got so much knowledge. It's amazing. I'm really excited. Melissa's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monty gets us all the time. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so I might hit the refresh button. I hope everyone submitted. Um, let's just hit that button right now. So that is refreshing in the background. Cool. A bit of sus oh, while we're refreshing, we can quickly go through the answers if anyone is curious. Let's have a look. Okay, so. What connectors are used for in Power Automate? So they can connect to a service like Twitter. That's 
that's one of the most Makes common sense. demos I've seen. Yep, <laughs> why not? <laughs> There's 300 to 400 connectors in the power platform. Wow. Azure DevOps is your new best friend for tracking oh. everything. <laughs> uh, true, LinkedIn version two is the name of a power automate connector. It's insulin is that um, chemical compound mm. that you were looking for. Nearly 100 years. Azure Data Factory is not a data source that can be connected to via the standard connectors. Trick Dynamics, question. yeah, that's that's a tricky one. Dynamics 365 for Fin and Ops. So you need those abbreviations. Um, Power Apps licenses. The answer is none. So that's for the licensing bus. Count rows. Um, delegation the delegation warning, the answer is yes. And which of the following is currently not a pre-built automate connector? So meetup. So unfortunately, Greg P, you can't automate the promotion of your, um, of your meetup event. Everything I'm doing is manual. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Come on. No, as, a, as a fellow meetup person, I feel your pain. Yeah, and I think that's the only question I got right, by the way. Out of them all. <laughs> <laughs> so. all right, so when this loads How's back the up, we'll have a look. Yeah, so the refresh mm. is refreshed. Then we just have cool. to refresh in the browser. <laughs> the refresh, the refresh. <laughs> I'm sure there's a yep. better way to do this. Does anyone know a better way rather than having a refresh in the browser? <laughs> Awesome. So after round two, we've still got the team quizmasters on top. Thank you, team. Yes. Hey, look at my team. Gregory. And then um, followed up. It's still anyone's round, I reckon. Consistency. Let's go. Yeah. JP. Oh, JP Daly. JP. That you're JP. Oh, Alex uh, Powers is having a run back. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. It's a gap. Good work. Yeah, Matt Burke Karan, was behind Karan. Oh, awesome work, everyone. Had a few people dropping off. Curtis joining us, thank you. Unless people have had a name change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That well, is awesome. I think uh, we've got one more round to go. It's Greg Nash. I think you're going to see that's your face on most of these questions, I think. Mate. Yeah, so, so you can take it away. Uh, uh, I guess this will be my round. Be good this to me, Greg. Be good to me. <laughs> Okay, this is the general Microsoft technology type round, and a lot of it, a lot of it, you know, you don't need any special skills to know the answers to this, as you can see by that first question. And uh, right. yeah, just quickly, the the form is in the chat, so the uh, for round form is now in the chat. Form is in the chat. Uh, that that picture was about ten kilos ago. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, what about 30 pounds <laughs> um all right so in what in what year did bill gates become a billionaire at the tender age of 31 in what year did bill gates become a billionaire at the tender age of 31 was it 1985 1987 1989 or 1991 so greg i didn't know that you're a pool star yeah i tried to keep that under my hat I was going to challenge you guys for money. He'll bet you first, <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah, I used to run a You're TV show back in the day on Channel 31. This is a community TV uh, pro, uh, uh, channel here in Australia. So it's pretty funny. It's a funny little show. Uh, question number two, Microsoft's first major deal for PC DOS was with IBM in 1980 for how much money? Microsoft's first major deal for PC DOS was with IBM in 1980 for how much money? That's so funny. There was just recently an article about this, how Bill Gates's mother was it kind of helped broker that deal. Like a couple of days ago, I was just randomly reading it. So funny, this is a question. Oh. We told them to put that article. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably still get it wrong. So whatever. <laughs> All right, good one. 
Question number three, on what date did Power BI go general availability? If you've been paying attention, you'll know this. On what date did Power BI go general availability? Was it July 24, 2015, September 8, 2015, February 18, 2016, or June 20, 2014? Was anybody on the Power BI 5 uh, like call? I was. Like, there was like a YouTube like a yeah. live stream. That was pretty cool. It was, yeah. It was great. The Gynacube guys uh, do a great job with that stuff. I like to see like there's more live streaming happening now with um, with people running streams, which is really, really good to see. Totally. <laughs> Pull TV. Oh, no. Bastion found the link. What is the highest mountain in the world? Oh, uh, brilliant. Is, is that you, Greg, nice. on that? Brilliant. Yeah, it'll be me oh, commentating. Oh, we'll do it later. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to jump, awesome. jump on Bastion's team just for that. That's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting, guys. Very exciting. All right, question, <laughs> question number four. What was Microsoft's 10,000th patent acquired for? What mm -hmm. was Microsoft's 10,000th? patent acquired for was it for hololens for connect for surface or for removable feet for electronic devices <laughs> all of these are microsoft patents by the way removable feet oh, it's so out there i almost just want to pick it you know? <laughs> i will i'm going for it i'm going for it too what were you number <laughs> yeah. oh. And Greg Nash, was all these sort of top of, off the top of your head, or did you have to go do some research for these questions? Oh, I, did just... no, I, I did some research. I looked up the patents to find the others because, like, it had. I knew the answer because I like found the answer, but then I had to find all the other patents. So I had to think of what yeah. were genuine Microsoft patents. So, yeah, the <laughs> removable feet one was. Uh, I couldn't couldn't resist. Sometimes <laughs> that's hard coming up with the answers that aren't correct. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is a this is an easy question. You should be able to get this one. Question number five: What is Microsoft all about, according to Steve Ballmer's famous onstage rant? Is it developers, 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 or developers? Uh, spelling, is that spelling. <laughs> yes, spelling is important. You need an exclamation mark. Like <laughs> yeah, a yeah. Shit ton of exclamation marks. I was going to do developers, 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 or developers, 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 or developers, 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 developers. <laughs> but I thought that was too much. Awesome. Question six. Um, question number six. When Microsoft realized it had an unfortunate abbreviation, the Windows 98 critical update notification tool was renamed to what? Was it the event viewer, the critical update notification utility, Microsoft update, or Dr. Watson? How is that Bulma clip not a GIF? Yeah, I agree, Joel. That oh my gosh, I just <laughs> saw the acronym. I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very unfortunate acronym. They needed to rename it. <laughs> Right. This is where <laughs> this is where things got a bit risque. <laughs> Question number seven. <laughs> Question number seven. How many daily active users does Microsoft Teams have now? According to Satya's 2020 Inspire Key segment, how many daily active users does Microsoft Teams have? Uh, 75 million, 31 million, 44 million or 56 million? <laughs> HBO rated quiz. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe. There it is. <laughs> We've got some clippers for this right. Steve Ball. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Question number eight. Microsoft recently announced a new pre built Power Platform solution. Oh, oh there it's back. Uh, to help organizations with getting back to work, what is its name? What is the new pre-built Power Platform solution to help organizations with getting back to work? What is the name? Is it the COVID-19 work, work check, the Power Platform Back to Work, 
the return to workplace solution or Windows XP? <laughs> they really need to help with naming. So my yeah. <laughs> application is still out there to Microsoft. I will work for free to name their stuff. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just give me a call. Whatever Microsoft's thinking, I will do a lot better. <laughs> it's uh, do, it's always interesting. Tweet, like, Dataflex got announced, Greg Pay, and yeah, you were not happy. <laughs> <laughs> so they are listening to you. <laughs> no, and that's why they pulled it. It had nothing to do with the IP or the lawyers. <laughs> it was just just your tweet caused them to pull the name. I love that. Exactly. <laughs> Question number nine. Which member of the Power BI CAT team famously wields swords and axes? Which oh, member yeah. of the Power BI CAT team famously wields swords and axes? Is it Adam Saxton, Patrick LeBlanc, Phil Seymour, Chris Webb, or Matthew Roche? And he loves data culture. And oh, he used loves to like data, data flows. flows. Used to like data <laughs> and a flows. And heavy metal music. <laughs> yeah. Right. Lucky last. Last one. Last question for the quiz. Which modern Microsoft 365 product was codenamed Ren and Stimpy? Which micro, modern Microsoft 365 product was codenamed Ren and Stimpy? Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Bookings, or Microsoft Excel? The clue here is in the codename Ren and Stimpy, how old it is. Oh. Yeah, I remember Ren and Stimpy. I loved Ren and Stimpy. My parents wouldn't let me watch it. Ah, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But of course, I still oh, watch. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was really controversial back in the day. These days, it's tame by comparison. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. So, lucky last quick flick through the questions. Get your forms in as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you might miss our refresh. So, here's the last <laughs> nice glance. <laughs> Questions just gone through. <laughs> Developers, yep. <laughs> yeah. Got that one. Cool. Submit your forms very quickly so we can see who the winner is. All right. We'll give it a little bit more. I just, uh, now I'm just getting stuck looking back through the chat feed, and there's uh, some pretty funny GIFs and stuff or GIFs <laughs> being put up there. That is on fire. Oh, yeah. Loving it. It's killing us. We had, uh, we've it's loved it. Fun. So much fun. So I've just posted in the chat, if anyone is keen to um, get their face and fun fact in front of the world on the PPPQ, um, we would love to get your questions in and um, mix up our quiz a bit more. So it's just a very quick uh, form. Just please submit it. Um, that would really help us out. And if anyone's keen to get some custom merch, head on to the Red Bubble store. Um, Buy the shower cool. curtain or the duvet. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture and tweet and, it. Yeah, and this site's really cool. So any artist or designer can just put up their own artwork and it automates all that merch and stuff for it. So yeah, it's really, really cool. And they're based out of Melbourne. So obviously we're locally biased in that regard as well. If Red Bubble awesome. had stuff, so I, I would buy it. <laughs> yeah. I hope everyone's got their forms in. I'm going to hit refresh on our quiz machine. So that has started. We can actually, let's have a look through the answers just quickly. Let's see what Greg had in store for us. The so first right, one was 97. Yep. Take it away, Greg. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, 1987. Then PC DOS, fifty thousand dollars was uh, the answer for PC DOS. Uh, general availability Power BI. The birth, the five year birthday was in July, as you many of you will remember. So that was 24th of July, 2015. Uh, what was Microsoft's ten thousandth patent? It was the Surface, the wow. Surface, and I believe it's actually the Surface Pro uh, laptopy tablet thing. Uh, Microsoft uh, developers was the answer, of course. Uh, critical update notification utility was the new acronym uh, for that unfortunate tool. Um, 75 million daily active users now in Microsoft Teams, which is unbelievable given the short amount of time. Uh, the return to workplace solution is the current name until Greg renames it. Um, 
it's a return to work safe play solution. Uh, Power BI Cat team is Matthew Roche. Uh, you can see him on Twitter chopping various items uh, on a regular basis with his swords and axes. Pretty cool. And Microsoft Outlook was codenamed Ren and Stimpy. I believe it was called Ren and then Stimpy and then something else. But uh, yeah, Ren and Stimpy was Microsoft Outlook. No wonder I and like that. Is it. Thank you, Greg. That was good. So now we're just refreshing our browser. And I think Joel put up a chat comment before about we could do this in Power Automate. So we'll probably look for some of oh, yeah. the next iterations. Good I idea. do have that one in another version, but we were mucking mm. around with this a bit late last night. So I just picked up an older one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got Alrighty. multiple iterations yeah, going on. Plenty yeah. of we do. This is this is our kind of design playground. We love playing around with the stuff. So it's nice to you know be able to test it and present it at meetups like this. So cheers again, Greg P. Here we go. Go to the quizmasters. Woohoo! Yes, yes, good work, team. I just beat Bastion. That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one, one 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 one. Gotta have yeah. you guys back for the tiebreaker. <laughs> oh, so we oh, can see who. Three. Yeah, let's see who is the best person in the quiz. My who's pulling up our team? Hey, JP, hey. thank you, JP, JP and Jeremy. And Jeremy. <laughs> nice work, Jeremy. Oh, Jerry. Awesome. Awesome, and in Team Greg, who is Lee? Oh, Matt oh, Burr. Oh, Matt Burr and <laughs> Alex Powers. Look at these guys. And Very Bastion, good. say thanks to thank Fernando. Thank you. Thank you, right. Fernando. Thank you, everybody, for coming yeah. on my team. I'm sorry. Let's we'll we'll the next one. <laughs> this is awesome. Of course, PDBQ wins, but oh, JP Daly. Matt Burr, second again. Oh. Oh. Matt Burr well, came well, from nowhere. Well done, everyone, though. Yeah. That was some hard questions there. Awesome. Everyone did so well. They were really hard. And I'm sorry it wasn't so much Power BI as we did last time, but we need more Power BI questions. So please send them through and we'll Submit make a whole new Power everybody. BI round. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us do that. I hope everyone had fun. A bit of um, showing how we can um, use kind of Power BI in a different way as well. So let's give a round of applause for you guys. Thanks a lot for just posting. Yeah.